Okay, one more question from our subscriber and we are ready to go. So here's another email from our friend Mr. VJ. And this is all about road lighting now again. So he has some clarification about, I think it's all about the poles. So he's asking about these um, terms like the boom length, the boom angle, overhang, distance pole to roadway. What are the standards available for this? What should be the distance between pole to pole in general to be considered? Is it 1.5 times the pole height? What is light overhang in EVO, pole distance from roadway, and boom length? Okay, VJ, these are so many questions. <laughs> but um, it's easy. We can answer it in one shot. So let's go and check our road lighting. This is the road lighting I did before in one of my previous tutorial. And um, you're asking about the specification or the parameters of a pole. I think you're a little bit confused with what is the boom length, what is the angle. Uh, angle. Is it there's an angle here? Uh, yeah, boom angle and overhang. So for that, VJ, just go to this one, click your pole, and then you can see it here. And from here, you can see the parameters of this pole. And when you click this one, this little tiny thumbnail here, you will know what the meaning of this. And it's not working, but it's not working. Okay, there you go. It's open now here. So you can see that there's an A, a B, C, D, and then a B red and A red. And then you can see that the A is the light center height, which is the height of the luminaire. And then the B is the light overhang. And then C is the pole distance from the roadway. And D is the boom length. And C is the boom, uh, sorry, and C, D, E is the, where's the E? A, B, C, D, is it A again in the boom angle? <laughs> okay. I don't know, it's an A, I can't see, it's so small. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's check it one by one. So Vijay, take a closer look of what I'm going to do so you will understand it. And now let's go to the to, to one of your question, which is the boom angle. Boom angle is the angle of your bracket. Let's go back. This boom angle is here. It is in A, which is... How can I freeze this one? It's not freezing. Okay. It's in... Okay, in the vertical. <laughs> I cannot freeze it. Okay, so let's go. It's for example, um, I will change it into five. It's the tilting angle. Okay, I would say this is the tilting angle. Now, if I change it to five, see, it becomes like that. And if I put it in zero, see, it changed. Okay, let's better look at it in the elevation. Ah, this is perfect. Okay, so this boom angle is in zero angle. So if I made it five, you can see that it will be tilted into five. See? And again, if I change it into 10, then of course, the boom angle will change into 10. Mostly in our street light fittings, um, the maximum tilt angle is up to 10, 10 only because otherwise it will become too glary. Some manufacturers, they tend to do it in 15, but we are not advising that because it's not good. Uh, just take note, always remember that the boom angle it will give you a better uniformity if you play with the boom angle. But do not make a boom angle like 2 degrees, 3 degrees, or 6 or 7 degrees. Make it 0, 5, or 10. If you really want to go to this extreme uh, numbers like 3 or 7 or maybe 6, then I'm not sure if the installer or the contractor can install it like that. But it's usually, we usually do it like um, 0, 5, and 10 only. And then, what else did you ask? Room length, angle, overhang, and then distance pole to roadway. 
of course, the distance of the pole to the roadway is like this one. You can see now that my pole is not, it's no longer in the curve or in the pathway. It's now in the emergency lane or in the lay which is wrong. So you should put your pole into the pathway or somewhere not in the concrete road. So it should be, let's make it 1.5 meters. Okay, now it's at the edge of the curve, so it's wrong also. So let's make it 2 meters. So you can see now that by changing the distance of the pole from the roadway, the, the length of the packet also change and it's become uh, longer. So you can see it here now. So it's better you um, uh, make sure that the pole distance from the roadway is established first and then adjust the lit overhang here and make it 0.5 and let's see what will happen. Okay, there you go. So establish first the pole distance from the roadway, which is on the which is the the distance of your poles to that um, road itself, and then adjust the bracket later. So yeah, that's the best thing you can do because otherwise it will adjust again, and then you keep on changing. And then um, what else did you ask? What what are the standards available for this? I, nothing. There's no standard actually, but uh, the regular one is the diameter or the yeah the diameter of the pole, which is uh, the usual one is 76 mm and 60 mm, which is the insertion point in the luminaire. But the standard for the pole itself, uh, some of the pole manufacturers have their standard heights and materials and maybe bracket size but in uh, lighting design actually you can create whatever pole design you have but for the pack, uh, manufacture of the poles they have this kind of standards usually um, the pole height goes for four uh, sometimes five and then six then eight and then ten twelve like that i've never seen a pole like saying 9 meters or 11 meters or 7 meters usually it's um, uh, even numbers okay and then next uh, what should be the distance between pole to pole in general um, the distance of the pole to pole actually doesn't have any proportion at all or there's no standard also it will depend on the type of the road that you want to achieve the height of the pole and the efficiency of your luminaire because um, even if I say that the standard is uh, 25 meters away from each other and if I put a 250 HIT lamp and it's not reaching the uh, lux value or the uniformity for the road lighting design calculation then your spacing is wrong so there's no standard for the pole to pole spacing but it it will depend on how you will achieve the 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 values but if the contractor says that the requirement is, is uh, it should be 30 meters away from each other or 20 meters away from each other or the municipality says that the pole distance for this, for example, major highway is, for example, 35 meters from each other, then you need to do a calculation uh, using this parameter. You need to select the right optics, right wattage, right height of the pole using this requirements, which is, for example, the 35 meter pole uh, distance from each other. Okay, so I hope you understand what I'm saying right now, but that is um, one of the case. And then uh, light overhang in Evo, that's what I said. It's the light overhang is the, the bracket length. And then pole distance from the roadway, that is your pole to the main uh, roadway line, not from the gutter line. And then... The boom length, yeah. The boom length. Ah, okay. I think there's a little confusion between the 
uh, light overhang and the boom length. When I say boom uh, light overhang, it means that the light uh, distance from the road. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can see now here it's 0.5. Okay, let's go to the elevation so it will become clearer. This light, let's open this one. I said it's 0.5 because it will be 0.5 away or offsetted from the road. And you can see here now, by using the light overhang of 1 meter, the boom length becomes 2.7. And if I say that the light overhang is zero, let's try this one, then um, your boom length becomes uh, 1.68. And if you go to that straight line here, that your light is directly uh, in line with the road line. It means it's in the zero line. So the light overhang is the placement of your luminaire into the road line while the boom length is the length of the bracket so now that is the difference between the light overhang and the boom length okay so Vijay I hope you learned something tonight and yeah enjoy learning and keep learning and if you have more questions just let me know good night